Hi everyone, it's Jennifer Lockwood, your local realtor here in Fairfield County, Connecticut. And I'm on today to give you a housing market update for the first quarter of 2022. My last video I did was in January, talking about housing predictions of 2022. So today I wanna to talk about what has changed in the last three and a half months. Um, I'm filming this video in April, so I have statistics through uh, first quarter of 2022 and what we're experiencing here in the market. Um, also, I wanted to make sure you go check me out on Instagram where I post regularly as well. So what are we experiencing here as realtor with boots on the ground, working with our buyers and sellers in this market? We are still feeling a bit of the frenzy. We still have multiple offers. Home prices are still increasing. Offers are still going in at list or over list price if it's priced appropriately. There is still a high traffic number of showings and we are getting uh, competitive multiple offers where people are coming in with clean offers, meaning that they are releasing contingencies. We still see many inspection contingencies, but many offers do not have mortgage contingencies. Home buyers are still competing with cash offers. So they are using the mortgage contingency option in order to compete to win their home in this market. So let's talk about three main items today uh, regarding the real estate market having to do with inflation, interest rates, and supply and demand. Those are the three main items right now driving the housing market. So let's first talk about inflation. Uh, inflation is affecting everybody. And when you look at the consumer price index for March, it had gone up 1.2% just the month of March. And in the last 12 months, it has gone up 8.5%. And that is the highest increase since 1981. So inflation is a big problem for everybody in every facet of our lives. Um, the biggest changes have been in gas, shelter, and food. So shelter is housing, so inflation is directly affecting real estate. But how does inflation affect real estate? Well, that depends if you're already a homeowner or if you're a home buyer. If you're a homeowner, you are reducing your loan to debt ratio. Your house prices have increased um, due to many factors, but inflation also affecting that. And also you are increasing your equity with the home prices increasing. So being a homeowner is a great way to guard against inflation. But if you're a home buyer, you are now um, having house affordability issues because your mortgage payment due to higher interest rates has gone up. If you've been looking the last year, your interest rates have increased, which means that your mortgage payments increase, which means you can afford less. So house affordability can be a problem for home buyers right now and also interest rates. And interest rates are the number two factor that has changed since January. They had predicted, meaning they are top economists from Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, had all predicted an increase in interest rates, but they predicted by the end of the year, it would be around 3.7 or 3.8%. They are now up to 5%. So it was a huge increase, uh, more than economists had e expected. And I like to refer to a quote by Mark Fleming, who is a chief economist at First American, who said, don't ever try to forecast interest rates because you will always invariably be wrong. And that is what's happened in the last three months. The mortgage rates have gone up and they are predicted to continue to rise. To what extent, we're not sure, but uh, with inflation being high, interest rates are the defense against inflation. So they will rise to try to curb down the inflation. What does that mean for the housing market? What we're experiencing is still more of the same. We are experiencing what we experienced even last year with increase in home prices, now increase in mortgage rates, which we didn't have last year, homes are still selling quickly. And why is that? The main reason is supply and demand. The supply is still historically low. And I'm going to show you some charts so that you can really see how dramatically the inventory is down from two years ago, pre-pandemic in 2019. I'm gonna show you four towns here in Fairfield County, Fairfield, Easton, Westport, and Weston. In Fairfield and Easton, if you look at these charts, they are down 70% from pre-pandemic times. And then if you look at Westport and Weston, they're 65%, so pretty much the same. And all of these towns are experiencing the same issue. If you look back in Fairfield, just at numbers, there were 397 homes on the market December 2019, and today there are 63. Now this is a moment in time when I'm recording this video, but if you think about that, that is a 70% decrease. So when a house comes on the market, 
the high demand that we're seeing are all going and looking at these houses, which is driving up the home prices. Where's the demand coming from? As I talked about in other videos, it's still millennials. They are a huge part of the market right now. So millennials, people moving out of state, first time home buyers, the, the supply cannot meet this demand level. Even with increase in interest rates, we are still feeling the demand and the lack of supply. Top economists are still predicting we are gonna still see the same and feel the same energy in the market as far as homes coming on and selling quickly. So many buyers are still competing with all cash offers and offers with no mortgage contingency. If you're a home buyer right now, you need to construct your offers, knowing what you're competing against and being educated in the market. If you like this video, I also did a video on four tips on how to compete in this market. I'll put that link here. If you want more information on the market, I'd be happy to help. I'll put all my contact info at the end of this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.